Howdy, folks, and welcome back to Trey Valley. It's time for the last episode of the German DLC. And it's time to play in the uh, final era. The th I think... If my memory is correct, model trains are depicted, in at least for German prototypes, in five different eras. Eras 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There might be a sixth one. I think the sixth one is supposed to be for everything from, like, 20... Some some year tw after 2010, if not 2010, and onwards. Era 5 being everything before that, up until Era 4, and so on and so forth. I feel like I'm not explaining myself very clearly. But let's just get to it. It's January 1998, and we're over at uh, one of the premier international airports, or at least I think this is. The only reason I know this is based on a famous German airport was because I saw something on Imger a while back. It was actually a full-scale replica of the... of a certain international airport in Germany, I think. I could be fatally wrong though, so I'll have to go double check, but from what I can tell, uh, the uh, the GIF I saw in Imgur was a full-scale model that was so realistic that if you looked at it close enough it actually looked like the real thing, but then they zoomed out and you realized it was just a model that somebody had made when someone's giant foot steps in. And what this level uh, lacks in difficulty, in some respects, it makes up for in how difficult it is... Uh, no, no, let me rephrase that. What this level lacks in the complexity of uh, its track configuration after everything is uh, developed, it makes up for in the uh, inability for you to predict where stations are going to crop up. Because I certainly didn't know when I first played this around that there was a station here and a station here other than these two buttons to indicate that. So I didn't know where the station was because the track started under here and I couldn't see. And I'm pretty sure that was not their intention. Uh, over in the game development department over at Flasm. But I guess we can consider this level to be a sort of victory lap in comparison to the rest of uh, the German DLC. Because we can just make oodles of cash with little to no effort whatsoever. Send this train out, which for some reason has the same horn as the uh, Shinkansen train over in the original game. I really wanted. I didn't get to explain this earlier, but I wanted to get the footage of the German DLC out as soon as humanly possible, but it just didn't work out that way because I'm such a stickler for uh, coming off as a professional in a, a video genre on YouTube that is anything but professional in terms of the amount of uh, thinking that goes into uh, commentary, unless the, edit, uh, the commentary is done post-edit. ourselves one more uh, station to deal with. This level also kind of feels a little claustrophobic. I'm not sure if you've noticed. But that is the uh, sensation I get from playing this level. Because everything is so close together. 
and everything's so congested as well. It wasn't enough to have everything close together. That wouldn't be uh, claustrophobic in any sense. It had, to every it had to have everything close together in a very tight space. Oh, looks like we've reached all the objectives without even trying. That's what happens when you try to record something more than once. You get better at the game. Oh, and the level ended because it's 2016. It's gonna be a big election year this year over the United States. S sadly, I don't think I can say the same for Germany. And then again, uh, I don't know, uh, American politics is its own circus in a sense, and nowhere is that any clearer than this year. So we got one more level to do, it's going to encompass all the eras, and I've got a formula for how to, uh, set up this level, but it never works, because there's always something that gets in the way. But the long and the short of it... Nah, I don't want to do it like that. I can't do that either. Oh well. I'm gonna do this at speed one because I know I'm just gonna screw up a lot. Because this game, I mean, this level is harder than anything else in the game. So I need to pace myself. What else was I thinking about? I have to do some uh, preliminary stuff for one of my final projects this semester. And it's going to be difficult because I have to measure the distance of something before I figure out how much I'm going to break up the distance in between uh, coin tosses because I wanted to take samples over a concentration gradient, which is a fancy way of saying a certain uh, length of uh, land, and when I was going to do these for my environmental science course, I was going to do them along the Guadalupe River, uh, measuring the, uh, the exact concentrations of uh, mercury in the river and compare that to the tap water. The tap water is going to practically have nothing in it. It's going to be completely pure except for the dissolved solids. Uh, which are usually minerals like calcium, which make your water very, very hard. But anyway, I wanted to see how long the length of, uh, Riverway I was going to, uh, sample so that I could figure out how many times, or how long each segment should be when I randomly choose where to, uh, take samples, because I was thinking I was going to do a coin toss, and if it was heads, I'd walk 100 feet, take a sample, and if it was tails, I would walk 200 feet and then take a sample, and then repeat uh, the process over and over again. But as far as I can tell, uh, breaking everything into segments of 100 feet or 200 feet might be a little too small, and I might need to make everything a little bit bigger. Like, maybe I walk a distance of 200 meters and 400 meters. I mean, uh, feet. That's the thing, I don't have everything in the metric system. Which is disappointing for me as a scientist, because having standard issue measurements is like one of the, uh... That's like one of the hallmarks of the scientific method these days. Nobody does it in feet, inches, pounds, and those kinds of measurements. They do it in uh, standard issue measurements instead of imperial. 
but you might know them as, uh, to some extent, uh, the metric system. But not all the metric units, for some reason, are in standard issue. Which is kind of strange, I think. Citation needed. Citation needed. I'll have to go double check and verify that. But maybe I'll be too lazy and tired because I'm sick to actually uh, do what I need to do. Or do what I think I want to do. I thought there would be more cities developing. Oh, and another thing I should mention. This level's difficult not just because of the general configuration of where everything's laid out in terms of the stations that I have to send trains to and set up the infrastructure for, but it's also difficult because these stations are so close to each other and they're completely symmetrical. So you could cut them in half and they're perfect mirror images of each other. So you can't tell where's the entrance and where's the exit. And as a result of that, I have made a bunch of uh, critical errors uh, as a result of that. Setting trains to the wrong station because I thought I was looking at one station or clicking on one station when I was actually clicking on another entirely. It's kind of silly. And I don't have the perfect configuration for this level because there's a bunch of obstacles that were in places I didn't want them. But that's okay. I'll just make do with what I've got. If I really wanted to show you what my perfect configuration looks like, uh, I could just do it in the sandbox. Okay, so let's just loop this around. 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 Not what I meant to do, but whatever. Close enough! It's a jarbled mess, but I could care less. Because I'm too tired and old for this shit. Loop. Nope. What just happened? Aw, oh, dang it. And I'm gonna go bankrupt if I know myself. Uh, good enough. Oh, dear. And then all the wrong trains are gonna come up and clog up the tracks. They can already tell. I know the signs of imminent doom, and they look like these. Yes. Oh boy, I'm not gonna make it. And I'm bankrupt. Like I said, there's a reason this is one of the most difficult levels. I guess I'll just have to condense everything. this works out. Okay, everything's working out now.
Now this is a perfect configuration that I would want to have because it's completely modular, everything works out and goes as it should. Nothing chaotic happens unless I turn a blind eye to the traffic. And I feel like everything's just gonna work this time. It's just something that you feel, it's not something you necessarily know as an absolute fact, because you could be sorely mistaken like I was a few minutes ago. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to take this, loop it around, break this. Yeah, this is working. This is working out fantastically. Almost a perfect world, except for a few minor errors. There we go. Loop this around. What else was I thinking about? Okay, so this... We can send this. It's working! It's working! It's working! It's working! 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 Yep, it's working! Oops. Build this up. Everything is falling into place. Oops. And as soon as I say that, I realize I have spoken too soon. There we go. That's much better. Check. Check and check. That should do it. And 
there I go, I do it again. There we go. Okay. Build the tracks up to here. Send the trains out to here. And then send the trains out over to here. Let's do it. Sweet. That should do it. We're almost done. We'll be able to send this train out. Then send this train out. Then send this train out. This train out. This train out be able to send this train out as well at some point, but it's just gonna have to wait. There we go. A little too close. Maybe a little too close. This isn't going to end very well. Up and over. No, that's... no. Wow. A little bit of patience would be appreciated. Oh boy. to send this train back around again. Gonna have to slow things down, screw it. No! Every it's a disaster! Gotta slow things down, everything's going a little too quick. Ah. More trains upon more trains. Too many trains for one lifetime. Actually, you can never have too many trains. But you can't have too many trains to manage at once. That's, I must say, with complete honesty. Sloop this around. There we go. I feel like I'm missing something like this. I was just scared because I didn't think I had enough money. And I was afraid of spending it. My hesitation was my downfall combined with the overabundance of trains. I think we can re resume double speed.
There we go. Loop it around town. There we go. I think that's actually the last three trains that we've got. Three, two, and one. Oops. I didn't send that in the right direction, now did I? Now this is an almost perfect configuration in my opinion. Keyword being almost. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this episode. Until there's more DLC that comes out. I'm not sure if there's going to be any more DLC coming out anytime soon. But anyway, I will see you all next time in some other video. And until then, take care, stay awesome, stay true to yourself, and remember to never give up. Bye, everybody.